All right, raise your hand, don't be shy. Who thought that the Raptors were gonna go zero and four on this homestand? I know you thought so, didn't you? I did too, where was my optimism? Gatsu was playing inspired basketball, and when I mean inspired basketball, I mean chirping at the refs for calls that did not favor him. And he was creative off the bounce, going to the baseline with a reverse to the basket. It explains why he was 10 of 11 from the free throw line. If you guessed Andrea Bargnani, you are correct, my friend. His jazz hands were effective enough to tire out even Noah, who missed 30 games and returned back to the lineup against a team he faced before he went down with injury. It could explain why veterans always trump the youth because the Chicago Bulls are 22 and 8 when Kurt Thomas is inserted into the starting lineup in place of Noah. Kurt Thomas did a great job anchoring the defense, especially schooling Ed Davis. But you better believe Tom Thibodeau was livid at the Chicago Bulls for their offensive game and spilled a recipe for disaster on the defensive end. Speaking of recipes for disaster, it does help to have the former Bull, James Johnson, in the lineup for the Toronto Raptors who donned the number zero for a new start. And he was talking smack to his old team as he exploited them off the bounce. Barbosa, the armored man, needed to come alive because he is the quickest guy to turn the corner off the bounce. And he played with poise and aggression. If he can play like this until the end of the season and the Raptors have more of an urgency to play hard on the defensive end, well, they can string together a couple of victories and I can possibly win my bet. Yes, I'm just eight games away from reaching that mark. One thing to remember from inside the purple room, if one door closes, do not be afraid to build a new one. And up next for the Toronto Raptors is a date against the Phoenix Suns. Yes, the former face of the franchise, Vince Carter, comes to town. And the beloved Canadian, Steve Nash, makes his presence known for the one and only visit here at the ACC. Now, the Raptors have dropped 12 straight to the Suns, but let's see if things change tonight. Thanks again for joining me inside the purple room. I'm Pyle, and I will see you again next time.